Welcome back to TheBrokenStove.com. We want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of things going on today. Uh, there's two things on our plate, so to speak. Number one, it's comfort food day because it's a little chilly. We want to thank our friends up in the Northeast for sharing some of the cold weather because down here where we're at, it's in a the sunshine little, state. It, it's a little on the cool side. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking about relocating to... Let's move to Florida. Let's do that. Okay. So we'll, <laughs> today we're going to have some uh, roasted chicken and dumpling stew. Yep. We got a, a thing on that here in just a second. But before we go that far, we are also have our the Crew of St. Andrews annual Mardi Gras Parade and Festival, festival is coming up this coming Saturday. We're going to be there uh, doing our show from we're there. We're going to be on location. And we're going to start with our traditional New Orleans style red beans and rice. Uh, we'll have all kind of foods. We're going to be at a friend's house. We're going to have uh, Creole shrimp, red beans and rice, maybe a little jambalaya going on. We're going to all the festivities and we got some bead fetching to do. That's right. And uh, we get ours the honest way. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I No, you don't. Oh. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. But to get started, we've got our roasted or our chicken normally people that make chicken and dumplings or anyone make chicken and dumplings. it's a very simple recipe but I like to roast my chicken I don't like all the skin and the fat and the just all that stuff in the broth if, if you boil it it's good you can skim it off but I like to roast it I like the flavor roast the chicken in the oven you can use any kind of chicken you want dark meat light meat combination of both um, simply just uh, put your chicken pieces in a pan, roast it at 350 for about an hour until it's done. Um, got some simple celery salt, poultry seasoning, and pepper. And that's all we're going to need to roast it get a good flavor. Once this comes out of the oven, we're going to pull the skin and, and debone the chicken and pile up all that meat. Then I'm going to get my broth started and I'll show you that later on. I know we need the oven. So chicken's going in the oven to roast. Once again, this is roasted chicken and dumpling stew. Good for a nice cold day. It's beautiful outside, but it's a little on the chilly side. A little on the chilly side. Anyway, there's more coming up to the broken stove, so y'all stay tuned. They we'll have right 29 there. inches of snow. Something like that. We have six inches of sand. Yeah, sorry. Hate it for you. <laughs> oh, but the waves are like nine or ten feet, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Small craft advisory. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the broken stove. Thanks for watching. Drain off all the fat. I'm going to do it this way. Drain off the fat this way. 
put all the flavor back into my stock later on, and I'll show you that when I get back to this. Start chopping my celery and my carrots, parsley. Get it going in your nice uh, soup pot with some butter, a couple tablespoons of butter and olive oil mixture, and we'll get that going. Get <clears throat> all the heats out of the oven and into our house. Um, it's a great day for comfort food. A little chilly outside. I believe that, uh, my opinion, chicken and dumplings is ranks high on the list of comfort food. Uh, we also got our NFL uh, playoffs today. We got the AFC and the NFC going on. So it's a nice football day, comfort food day. Got my Maripaul ready to go into the stock pot. And I'll get that simmering and sweating out the vegetables later on once I get my liquid going and my stock chicken stock going. Uh, the last that's going to go in is the chicken meat, some fresh chopped up parsley, and, um, and the dumplings at the very end. And you'll see how this turns out. It'll be awesome. Hey, we want to thank you uh, again for watching uh, our show, The Broken Stove, where you can find us here at YouTube. You also can find us on our website, thebrokenstove.com. Also, we are streaming on Roku. Uh, you can add us to your lineup. Just search Broken Stove, and the Vandy code is Broken Stove if you'd like to add us to your lineup. We're in beta test period right now trying to go public so everybody can find us. So if you'd like to do that, we would invite you to do it. It's a free channel. But we're going to take a few moments here to tell you about the Bay Bullet. It's a wonderful, wonderful newspaper for the Bay County, Panama City, Panama City Beach area. It gives you all the events, everything that's going on in or around our area. And coming up on the 26th, I believe, is the Stars and Guitars. Uh, Montgomery Gentry, uh, Colin Ray, Mark Chestnut, Joe Diffie, Aaron Tippett, just to name a few. And our boys, Southern Sunday, they're local, here from Bay County have been invited to play there as well. We're really excited about that. Uh, we're hoping to have them on our show real soon. Still trying to see if that works out. If you're coming to our area or you live here, go to baybullet.com, subscribe, get your copy to keep up with what's going on in or around our area. Uh, this coming weekend, as we've stated before, it's Mardi Gras, St. Andrews. The crew of St. Andrews in St. Andrews area is putting on the Mardi Gras parade. And we're kind of getting ready for that as well. So, again, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the show. Don't forget, Bay Bullet. You'll thank me later. All right. And my Maripois has simmered and sweated out. And to that, I have, which is the basic start of any soups or, cat, or uh, soups or stews or broth. Stop. I have added uh, about 12 cups of water. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut. Um, the chicken is uh, flavored up with all my seasoning and I roasted it in the oven. So I'm going to get a lot of flavor off of that. I deboned it, pulled the skin off. I'm going to, uh, it's all chunked up and that's going to be added back into the stock. Um, I've added, I'm going to take a little shortcut and I'm going to use some chicken or some consomme, which is a soup base, stew base. Uh, Basically, it's chicken bouillon, but it has a whole lot more flavor. You buy this at your store, uh, local grocery store, in the, in the bouillon section or the soup section. It's consomme. Um, it's going to give it a lot of flavor. So I've got the, the stock all simmered. Vegetables are tender. Um, I'm going to, right now, I'm going to add the dumplings. The dumplings take about 45 minutes to cook. So I'll put the frozen dumplings. That's also another shortcut. Um, you can buy all this stuff, and it makes it just makes life easier, and it it's insanely delicious. Um, these are actually made locally. They are made in Panama City, Florida. Um, they're just thin wafers of dumplings. I break them in half. They're frozen. When you drop them in the stock, I break them in half. When you drop them in the stock, they take about 45 minutes to cook, and they fluff up to these nice little pillows of chicken and dumplings. 
And then at the end, I'm going to add my uh, deboned, skin off, flavorful roasted chicken. I'm going to add that to the pot at the very end because I don't want this to boil away. I don't want it to shred up into tiny pieces. I want nice chunks and bites of chicken. And that's what I'm going to do right now. This is going to take about 45 minutes. It's going to take me a minute to um, separate these frozen pieces of dumplings. But that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'll show you the end product. And my chicken base, chicken stock, nice tender vegetables, maripaw, all cooked up and tender. I'm going to drop these frozen dumplings separately. I've separated them. They're frozen still. You want them separated, dump, drop them in separately. Like I said before, they're going to fluff up nice little pillows of dumplings. Drop them in separately. Make a couple of stirs around the pot. It takes about 45 minutes for these to cook. You can buy them in your local freezer section. Uh, they're super easy to cook. You don't have to take all your own time. turns out like the best chicken and dumplings you've ever had. You want to drop them one by one so they don't stick together. Stir around the pot. Drop some more. Once they're done cooking, at the very end, I'm going to add my cooked chicken meat and also some freshly chopped up parsley and you will see the most beautiful bowl of homemade chicken and dumplings that you've ever had in your life simple easy anybody can do this The chicken stock and the nice frozen dumplings are cooking away. The dumplings are plumping up, almost done. Uh, turned into nice fluffy little pillows of goodness. It naturally thickens your chicken stock, your chicken base, uh, for your, your chicken and dumplings. Um, Still got a few more minutes on that, but at the very end, I'm going to add our roasted chicken. I have taken it apart from the bones and the skin. Um, I'm going to drain as much of the chicken fat out of it as I can, but that's nice chunks of meat. Um, flavorful. Uh, celery salt is a very, very magical seasoning. And that's what I've roasted my chicken with, with some celery salt and some pepper and some poultry seasoning. I'm going to pull a lot of the fat away. And a lot of times when people make chicken and dumplings, they want to make their own chicken stock by boiling whole pieces of whole chickens. And that's all fine and good. But I'm taking away all that fat. I roasted the chicken in the oven, taking away all that fat but you're still getting the nice flavor. All that's not going in. That's not going in the uh, chicken and dumplings. But I'm still getting the nice flavor and everything from the bones and the skin because that's what you get your flavor for when you make chicken stock. So that's getting ready to go in the pot. I'm going to put this in the last because I don't want it to fall completely apart. It's already cooked. Waiting on my dumplings to finally cook. Once they finish clumping up, oh, and they're just about there. You got to keep on stirring it throughout the 45 or an hour worth of cooking time so they don't stick to the bottom. But there's your dumplings. They're getting plump. I'll add the chicken meat, and then we'll plate it up. Hi. Right. <clears throat> Our 
chicken and dumplings as well on the way. The dumplings are nice and tender, fluffed up and little cloud, little pillows of dough in that nice thick broth and stew. And the last thing that I want to do, and I told you before, is I'm going to add the cooked and roasted chicken. The reason I'm adding it last is because I don't want it to fall apart completely. You want big chunks of yummy bite-sized chicken. I'm going to add that into the stew. It's already cooked. Then the very last, okay, the very last thing I'm going to do is some freshly, two tablespoons or so of freshly chopped parsley. Into the pot we go. We're going to stir that around. We're going to let that simmer just a little tad bit longer. And look how beautiful that is. Look. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Dumplings and chicken and savory broth. All right. I'm going to let that all incorporate just a little longer. And we'll be ready to plate up in just shortly. For the record, I think somebody tried to break in the back door to steal some of this. Good dogs. Good dogs. Scared them off. Good dogs. Bar stew. Way to go. Um, garlic knots in the oven. That's going to go with our very hearty comfort food. Big pot of homemade chicken and dumplings. Try to recap a little bit for you. It's a very, very simple process. It does take a little while because there's a lot of simmering. There's a lot of baking. But there's nothing difficult about any step of this great, beautiful pot of chicken. All right, I roasted the chicken. A lot of people put the chicken parts and pieces in the water and, and boil them and get the broth and all that. Well, I roasted my chicken pieces. And you can use however many chicken pieces you want, as little as you want. Um, I render, I, I roasted them in the oven with a magical, magical seasoning and celery salt. Okay, roasted in the oven to per perfection. Uh, took it out of the oven, let it rest. I peeled all of the skin off and took the bones out, and I left the fat because I don't want that in my chicken and dumplings. There you go. All right, so my dumpling base soup mix was a traditional mirepoix, which is carrots, celery, and onions, sauteed in butter and olive oil. Then I add a bunch of water, about 10 cups. I use consomme base, which is a shortcut uh, for chicken stock. It's really, really good, though, flavorful. Um, then, once that's all simmered together, then, and it simmers for a little while until the vegetables are tender, the carrots and the celery and the onions are tender. Then you're going to add your store-bought frozen dumplings, which are thick, fluffy little pillows of delight. And those take about 45 minutes to cook. And once they're all cooked... I guess who's here for the sample. <laughs> once your pillows of dumplings are all cooked, then you take your chicken that you've deboned and deskinned, you add it back into the pot because you don't want it to fall apart and cook away. You want big chunks of chicken. This is insanely fabulous, young comfort food. Uh, we're watching football today. Go Broncos! I think they're gonna do it. Head on to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here. <laughs> uh, and at the very end, not the, not only did I add the chicken pieces to the very end, I also chopped up some fresh parsley. And trust me, if this could be smellow internet, some ground this pepper. This would be awesome. Some ground black pepper, and this is just. I can't even tell you. Well, I'll show you 
how beautiful and wonderful this is. Um, we got some garlic knots baking in the oven. Store bought. So? It's all good. <laughs> so what? <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Look how lovely that is right what there. a bigger scooper. We need a super scooper. Oh my. Unreal how yummy this is going to be. I'm, I used uh, frozen plantation style dumplings, which you'll understand if you, you'll see them in your freezer section. That's very good. The fresh carrots, sorry, the dumplings, the chicken. Here. <coughs> Again. The, you want to wait for the... All the garlic knots. Residue of the. Uh, I don't think it needs any garnish at all. Nope. I think no, it's all I good. took away all the chicken fat. Yep. I think this is all good. Roasting in the oven gets rid of the fat and the. But it still has the flavor mm -hmm. to it that comes up. It's roasted. This is your roasted chicken and dumplings. What? Well, Yum. Let's go uh, this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. Again, Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. This the crew. Of St. Andrews is having their annual parade and festival, mm -hmm. and we are getting geared up for that. <clears throat> Excited! It's going to be a mm -hmm. great. I can't wait. It's going to be a traditional New Orleans style Mardi Gras event. And we're going to a friend of ours' house that we do an annual get together. Sid. Thank and we you very go, much. Yep. And we, then we enjoy a, a nice meal. And all of us get together and cook. And we all contribute little um, New Orleans style Cajun cooking dishes. We're doing red beans and rice. Um, some we Cajun a, shrimp. We got some shrimp. And we have a new marinade that we're going to be trying. Just, it's up and coming. Mm. And we're going to be uh, previewing it or prevailing it. Excuse me. For the Sid's doing a king cake, which will give you the history and the uh, which will be a lot of fun. The the legend of the king cake during Mardi Gras season, and that's all next weekend coming up. And we'll show you all some of the parade, and because uh, we're gonna be there, and uh, I think that don't get too crazy, because I'm getting more beads than you. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> uh, we want to thank you <laughs> so much for watching our show. We hope you enjoy this. Uh, we also want to uh, say uh, we hope that uh, whatever team you're rooting for advances, and it should be an awesome Super Bowl. Go Denver. Go wherever. My team got knocked out a long time ago. <laughs> go Denver. Go Panthers. <laughs> anyway, thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching very much. My team's we, out. We, oh, my team's been out. My team's out. It's Is okay. TCU eligible to do that? Oh, never mind. Yeah. Wrong team. Anyway, thank Go you. Go for... <laughs> Take care and thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon. Sorry uh... about it, Green Bay. <laughs> John. <laughs> Bye. We're waiting for our stuff to get done. Our rolls. No, Lucy, leave me alone. You're killing me. Back off. <laughs> Bye. You're killing me. Look, get your own bowl. I'll get my own bowl. Waiting on the rolls. Waiting on the garlic rolls. There's no waiting on this. Look at that big old chunk of chicken right there. And the big old chunk of dumplings right there. Mm -hmm. You gonna slap my mama? Oh no. <laughs> slap you before I slap my mama. <laughs> That's good right That's there. That's good stuff. Wow. Right Yum. Oh. All right. Doggies don't like chicken and dumplings. It's really good. I thought it was a wrap. Oh, it's really good. Woo! Look at that dumpling right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I swear, this is a wrap. <laughs> I'm waiting on my garlic rolls. I think your mom and mama will fly in for this. <laughs> my mom's going to slap your mama. Well, your mama might slap my mama. I say I pay to watch that. My mama 
mama's lap, your mama say, I got a better kid than you. Your mama's lap, my mama say, I got a better kid than you. <laughs> I'd pay to watch that. WWF ain't got crap on our mamas. <laughs> Thanks again. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. We love everybody. We love our mamas. Our mamas are the best in the world. You all need to do this. This is really, really good. Really good. And easy. Keeping it simple. Go TCU. Oh, damn. We're on a football game. Oh, yeah. Denver's winning. Only two minutes left in the game. Good night, everybody. Come on, doggies. All right.